What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Got some more unboxings, unbaggings for you guys, uh, some Dojin stuff, current gen stuff. But on the Dojin side, uh, look guys, I got some pretty cool shooters so you guys might want to pay attention. If you're into physical media and are looking for any of these PC shooters, I got some really cool ones to show you and there's not that many copies floating around out there. Anyway, let's check it out. Okay, so this first box, um, I don't know exactly what's in here. It is Dojin shooters. Um, Battle Traverse is actually inside of this box. I do know that. I forget what all else I ordered with that game. Because I always order bundles of games together. That way I get a better deal. Um, and I always reuse my packaging material. You know, all the bubble wrap, all the boxes, all the paper, you know, all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm big on, you know, trying to reuse, you know, plastics. And especially, um, especially plastics. But anyway, enough of that. This is a package of awesome shooter goodness right here. Um, and guys, if you want some of these games, you know, try to look for them, um, you know, as soon as you can to get, you know, trying to find some of these for me took a while, although they are cheap, they're very uncommon, um, you know, on places like eBay and other, you know, sites. But anyway, so Barrage Tribe, awesome Dojin shooter I found out um, on an online forum. Uh, I do believe, I don't know if you know anything about this, let me know in the comments down below, but I do believe this is a Comic Cat release. So, you know, that's pretty cool for those of you guys uh, that know about Comic Cat. It's like, uh, I don't know a lot about it. I just know it's like a dojin of uh, all types of media and wares uh, convention where people sell the stuff they make, including video games. So, I would love to go to something like that. You know, me and my woman are talking about going to Japan. So, you know, I would love to figure out and coordinate when something like that would, would happen. That way I can go to Comic Cat. That'd be awesome. But, uh, yeah, so Barrage Tribe. The development circle behind this game is a company called Twinklesoft, you know. Yeah, Twinklesoft. Sounds like it should be a pretty cool development circle, right? But I don't know of any other games they made. I just know of this one that I read on an online forum, watched some gameplay footage, and found a physical copy. But uh, yeah, Barrage Tribe, you know, I'm glad to have that in my collection now. Uh, another game, Espelon. Espelon, another game I found out about by reading, uh, you know, stuff in an old online forum from back in like the late 2000s. Um, you know, this came from the same seller. You know, a lot of these games come from the same seller. And, you know, when you buy multiple items, they do deals and deals on shipping. And they end up being really cheap. And, you know, I'm really into collecting, you know, Dojin, you know, shooters, you know, PC shooters anyway. Because um, you get these awesome games and the... They're kind of like limited and cool to collect, and at the same time, they're kind of cheap. And you know, I'm into all that. You know, it's hitting all the right spots for me. So, and I'm having a lot of fun sharing it with you guys. And you know, if there's any of these games that you want, you know, go look for them. They're pretty cheap. You might have to look for a little while, but you will find them eventually. Somebody will sell it. But uh, cool little manual, I guess, insert. It's cool they added a spine card in this game. That's always a added bonus. Um, you know, something you see, you know, pretty, pretty typically in Japan. You know, especially in that. Uh, you know, 2000s to late 2000s era, um, and even to today on some games. Okay, Black Art, fun little Dojin shooter. Again, something I found on an online forum. And Battle Traverse, oh my god. You know, that's been an expensive ga game in like the Dojin, you know, world for a while. I'm just glad I got a physical copy. Awesome box of games. So here we have what I, I don't know what's in this box or in this bag whatever you want to call it, bubble wrapper, bubble mailer. I guess that's what it is, a bubble mailer, right? I use these too, I don't even know what they're called. Anyway, DVD size case, I'm gonna say a PS2 game. I've ordered a few PS2 games, you know, as of late, so it's probably what this is. Let's see, this is a, uh, <laughs> this is a, yep, PS2 game, Dead on Pachi Daiojo. Now, this is, and I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, but you know, let me know in the comments down below. Is this the only Dodonpachi or Donpachi game that came out on the PS2? This is the only one that I know of. Now there's what, four or five versions or games in the series that came out on the Xbox 360. Um, but yeah, this is the only thing we got on the PS2, I think. But uh, it does come with a DVD. It's usually like, um, you know, like high score runs and stuff like that. You know, sometimes we do get blessed with awesome anime, you know, footage on some of these games, but. This is really cool, guys. So here we don't get a manual. Well, I guess it is a manual, but it's also like a it's like a fold-out poster. 
I, mean, I think that's really cool, you know, to put the manual on a poster that does fold out. Now, I'm not going to put this on my wall because, like, I'm a weird, I guess, collector type like that. I want my copy complete if it is complete. But, um, you know, I do think it is cool that, you know, if it comes with a poster, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I wish more games did stuff like this. But, uh, you know, this is a really, really, really good game. Uh, there's many, many people that I've talked to that this is their favorite shooter that actually got released on the PlayStation 2. Uh, this is a cave game for those of you that uh, like cave games and it's in that like early style of of cave game like kind of like um, like Katsu and F. Scaluda, the original F. Scaluda. But uh, anyway, Dodonpachi Daiojo on the PlayStation 2. Okay, so here we have a rather large box, but this box is pretty light. This is actually the lightest box I've, I've handled in quite some time, so I don't know what could be in here. It feels like an empty box. It's kind of weird. But I'll slice this sucker open and see what contents lurk inside. Okay. Okay, we got some packaging material. Always reuse the packaging material, you know. All right. And we have, what is this? It's like an Easter bag. Huh. Okay, well, I can reuse that bag. Somebody's gonna get an awesome bag. <laughs> okay, ah, Sunsoft Collection. So this is two games on one disc. I thought, originally I thought this was like a mashup between the two games, but it's Galaxy Fight and Waku Waku 7, which is an awesome game, by the way. Um, awesome 2D fighter. Um, those of you that are really into fighters, um, you know, I'm sure you guys know about this game uh, or this set of games. Um, this was actually pretty cheap. You know, I've seen online, I've seen people, a lot of people, especially eBay, you know, I've seen this game, you know, people ask a lot of money for it, but you know, those copies never sell. I see when it does get listed at a decent price, you know, people jump on it. I just, it was like 50 bucks, you know, if you, if you consider that a lot for this game, you know, I was willing to pay it, you know, it seemed pretty cool. But uh, I really wanted to play Waku Waku 7, and I do believe that did release on the, the AES or probably the AES and the MVS. You know, I'm sure you guys, some of you guys are Neo Geo buffs. You could let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, awesome game. Um, Sunsoft Collection on the PlayStation 2. Okay, so here we have Crystar. This is a fun little action RPG, and it's no Tales of game, and it's no, no Shining Resonance or Frame, but it's got a fun little battle system. Um, this is a kind of a weird uh, game. You start off, you're a butterfly, and then you turn into a human, and then your sister, something happens to her, you have to rescue your sister, and kind of a weird game, but it kind of starts off like uh, Exist Archive, if you guys have played that game. That's an awesome game. That was made by tri same people that did Valkyrie Profile. But uh, yeah, Crystar. When games like this release physically, I try to support developers and just buy it at the store. But uh, this game feels kind of kind of hefty and it does have a manual that is awesome although in this game it's called an art book whatever you want to call it I'm grateful for anything you want to give us in, in this day and age you know it's better than just a case and disc but uh yeah it's awesome I guess this is an art book I mean it's full color look at that awesome very grateful uh this looks cool cool uh cover art on this game but uh yeah Crystar, you know, look for it. It's in GameStop and all major distributors right now. Should have it on the PlayStation 4. So here we have Battle Garaga. And so why did I buy this version? I already have the Korean or Japanese version that came out a while back. Well, you know, I thought about that and when I saw this at the store. Um, it is a store that does have a deal with Limited Run. And, you know, I do want to support uh, the people that publish these games now and support local businesses. So I went ahead and got it. You know, what the hell? It helps those guys out, and I want to see more stuff like this released physically, especially stuff like this, Battle Garaga, my, my god, you know, I've, this is actually, I got this on the Saturn too, uh, this is one of those games that uh, is, uh, you know, quite sought after on the Saturn, um, although it's not as expensive as some other shooters, um, it is a really good one, really hard though, I wish they made the bullet colors a little brighter in Battle Garaga, um, I wish they made a Battle Garaga pink bullets edition or something like that. That'd be awesome. That's something to think about, you know, M2, whenever you do another port of this game. Think about that. Pink Bullets Battle Garaga. But uh does have a, I wouldn't call that a manual, an art pamphlet. That's what Limited Run does now. 
Damn. Man, I think the Korean version of this actually has the soundtrack. It does. The soundtrack's in the Korean version. I expect better out of you, Limited Run. You, know, you should give us a soundtrack, too. The original release had a soundtrack. Actually, the original release was a download code, and then we got the, the good release, so... I mean, this is good, too. It was released at English release, you know, released here in North America. I can't complain. Like I said, I'm just trying to help those guys out, and now I have an English copy of Battle Garaga and the Korean version, which does have a soundtrack. But uh, anyway, Battle Garaga PlayStation 4, awesome game. Okay, so here we have the game Paradise, and this is weird. Like, both these games released on the Saturn. They're both limited run games. Um, I bought the English version of both of these games at the same store on different days. Uh, I don't know. That's just kind of weird. Kind of a coincidence, but uh, yeah, same same deal. I had the uh, other version that came out. That's just so weird. You know, the other version came out in Korea or Japan, and then Limited Run does it, and they're both on the Saturn. That's just kind of weird. It trips me out. But yeah, there's both versions right there. Um, now, this version, I will say this. The Limited Run version has characters that the original release does not have, although... There's been so many releases and, and so much DLC on the PlayStation 4. I will say it is hard to keep up with the Game Paradise's DLC. I wish they would have stuck it all on one disc. And there's probably a version of that out there. That's probably going to be the version that costs like a million dollars. But here's this version. Bam. No manual. And just like Battle Garega, it looks like we have a little art pamphlet. Right, better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. It would be cool if uh, this had something else. And I do believe the original release of this game, the Japanese release, has, I don't want to say a soundtrack, but it has like a bonus DVD or something like that. But anyway, there's all, all, four, all four of the games and <laughs> that we just talked about, the Korean and Japanese versions and uh, the subsequent English releases of uh, these games, limited run releases. But uh, anyway, that's the game Paradise and Battle Garega on the PlayStation 4. So what did you guys think? I feel like I got some pretty good shooters this time. Of course, I say that every time I do an unboxing video. Um, now, one game, if I was to recommend one game out of all those games I just showed you, okay. Battle Traverse, okay, Battle Traverse, okay, so to collect and to play. I mean, first of all, it's like one of the best PC shooters I've ever played in my life. Now, I know I say that about every shooter, but I really mean it this time. Um, it's a really good shooter. I, I highly recommend it. If you want to play it for free, um, hit me up on social media. I'll gladly send you a URL to a download link. That way you can try it out and then make a decision about whether you want a physical copy or not. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video. And if you like awesome video games, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Till next time, peace out.